In this video, we shall review how to handle false positives in Burp Suite Enterprise Edition. You may want to do this if manual testing shows that an issue is not really present, or if you are aware of the issue but do not want to rectify it. To mark an issue as a false positive, first from the top menu, select Scans. Then select the scan that you wish to view. Next, click the Issues tab and locate the vulnerability in question. Now you can select Mark as false positive. In the pop-up window, select a reason. You can select this issue to mark only this instance of the issue as a false positive. You can select this issue and all existing issues with the same type for the site. This marks all issues of the same type as false positives across the whole site. Or we can select this issue and all existing issues with the same type and URL for the site. This marks issues of the same type and URL as false positives. And finally, we can select all issues of this type in the current scan only. This marks all issues of this type as false positives, but only for the current scan. Finally, select OK. In the Issues window, the selected issues are now moved to the bottom of the list, labelled as false positive. They also greyed out. They will be removed from stats and charts displayed in the dashboard. Please note, marking an issue as false positive does not affect future scans. To configure future scans to mark certain issues by default, refer to Configuring Default False Positive Settings documentation. Thank you.